This video shows the solution how to add, uh, how to react on this um, error when you get this one. Uh, if you have an ASP.NET Core application in the background and the system says a database operation failed, filed while processing the request, SQL expression, and uh, something with in German this case, and then uh, application db context create identity schema at uh, I migrations and then run in visual studio you can use the package manager console to apply pending migrations to the database update database so this is the command which we have to use now i first explain what it is uh, i'm closing this one um, this happens if you have an uh, default application by uh, running by created by template and when you have a, an existing database so this is my existing database in the background uh, it's a small template uh, nothing special in there so you see some tables and but there's uh, there are no users in there I have some users by myself uh, small stuff but but the identity framework which uh, which you sometimes use in the uh, application uh, is uh, something from Microsoft with GUID numbers, uh, quite, quite so good stuff with uh, registry and uh, user handling. So it's good stuff and when you add it by with uh, add authentication then you have a lot of features which are automatically integ uh, in, uh, integrated. Uh, and therefore what you need to do now is uh, you see the database now at the moment uh, we go there we go to our uh, tools and then under there you find the NuGet package manager you find the package manager console under this one you do uh, you see I already run it uh, clear screen uh, you see we run this command update database simply type it in there and when you run it you will see the database there will be some stuff which is running there build succeeded done and so on and now when we go back to the database and refresh the database then you will see that there are some new tables in there that's the big advantage you see all this uh, database object asp.net and there are the asp.net users uh, you will say you will see select top one and I go there there are no entries at the beginning uh, you see that there's uh, integrated stuff in there so there's an email and the email will be um, uh, encoded so and the password will be a uh, password hash and so uh, it's great stuff it's great stuff uh, so when I run my application again default application from the template with asp.net 6 uh, with angular in this case in the front end but you may run also react view and so on separate one now come on it needs a little a lot of time oh God, we don't need this at the moment and now when we go to register or to login when we go to register and when I enter now my uh, my test uh, my email and the password and confirm the password and when I r register now great stuff when the uh, system says okay there uh, we did some registration what the big advantage now is is when you have a when we're back on our system uh, and select this one again or run it in here again with f5 execute then you will see there's an ID so the user ID is a GUID number that's a it's not one two three four five so you will see every user you see there's an email and I hope so that there is no <laughs> password visible in there. So the admin does not see any uh, anybody in the system does not see a, a password, and that's a great great stuff because otherwise everybody <laughs> sees the password in the in the backend. So this is a great stuff. It's uh, you see it's a, it's a password hash. Um, you have no, to do nothing else and the number the ID is by a GUID so it's also pretty strong